I'm Adam from EnglishAcon.com and today in this video we're going to look at blends in Construct 2. So if we open up Construct 2 and create a new empty project, oh sorry, <laughs> don't create a new empty project, actually go to File and go to New and then just type in Blends to search for it, go to the example of Blends mode you'll be met with all the different types of blends and so if we press play or run layout or layer um, we can see all the different types of blends so we've got no blends and there are two objects one is above the other we've got additive and the additive is applied to the cog um, whereby it adds on luminosity in this case which is additive to the color of the background here it copies uh, here's destination over. It doesn't look like anything's happening because they're the wrong way around. Here's source in. You notice that they, the two objects come together and where they meet it, it actually masks one from the other. Here's the other way around where it's masking the shape but it actually shows the um, source of one, i.e. the HTML5 logo here through it, whereas this one shows the Construct 2 icon. Here's source out where it acts as a mask and cuts away the image and here um, it's doing the opposite but it's cutting away with the other one so here at top and here destination at top now these are fairly useful these blends if you want to create anything nice and aesthetically pleasing in Construct 2 um, so it's worth getting to use to these because you can blend and you can merge different images and different shapes to create animations which aren't real animations but they're actually masks um, for example, you could have a waterfall effect or something to, uh, in, in that regard. So what I'm going to do is just to show you how to set up a um, blend and what's necessary to do that. So I'm going to click on Layout here. I'm going to right click and click on Add Layout. And I don't need an event sheet, so I'm not going to add an event sheet. You can even look at the, the event sheet that comes with this and there's nothing in there. This is why we don't need one. So on Layout 2, this is Layout 2. We can select it and we're going to layer layers and we're going to new layer. And layer one, we're going to come here to the left and we're going to go to something called force own texture. And we're going to select yes. And now it's very important that you select force own texture because this is how blends work and how they work on that layer. If we go back over to layout one and we can see all the different effects are on different layouts, if we select one of them you come over here you see that force own texture is selected and you'll notice if I just hide it by clicking on the toggle visibility uh, which objects are in there now if you come down here and we click on one we can see that on one of these objects if I just move this to the side on the HTML5 the blend mode is normal but the this sprite, the icon, has one blend mode which is destination at the top. So we're going to do something similar. So we're going to go to layout 2, we're going to go to our projects, we're going to introduce the sprite 2, and then we're going to introduce the sprite. So the sprite 2 refers to the HTML sprite, and I'm just going to rename this HTML sprite so it's not as confusing. And this is, sorry, I've renamed the wrong one. So this one's HTML, let's call it just HTML, and this icon, let's just call it C2 icon. So if you look here to the right, I've named them correctly. So um, as you can see, the last effect whoever created this template was to give this icon an additive effect. And when I move one over the other, if I move the Construct 2 icon over the HTML5, it actually create, has that additive effect, which is to add certain values like hue, saturation, um, and luminosity, which which is why it goes white. If this if image was different, so if I were to paint black here, I just do it like a black blob. Then, when that black blob goes over the top, you can see that nothing's shown at all. However, if I were to have a purely white blob, just here, you'll see that it's the full additive effect. Um, now the other thing to note is if I go to Z order here on the right, if you haven't got the Z order tab, you have to go to view and make sure the Z order bar is visible. You may find that is actually floating around, in which case just come over here, just oops, take the tab, 
and drag it to, sorry, come over here to the right and drag it, I think it's this one, drag it to this center square and then place it as a tab down here and I tend to have it in the center. You'll, now you'll notice that the HTML um, icon is below this, the C2 icon and if you were to change that position you'll see that the one on top is not really affecting the one on the bottom and that's something to be aware of that the ordering, the Z ordering is very important for these. Also these are both on layer 1 and if I were to select both of them and then move them onto layer 0 now all of a sudden the effect is different and this is because layer 0 force own checker is no so if I put yes oh, it hasn't changed anything anyway um, whereas if I move these to layer 1 it has that's very curious uh, and the reason for that is because if I put these back onto layer 0 I think because this is not transparent so there are two things to consider or two things to keep in mind that the layer needs to have a transparency setting and it needs to have a force own texture setting so I click that back to no, select those back and put them on layer 1 now there are different effects you can have so for example I've changed, I've actually changed the image throughout the whole thing now I'm also going to change the HTML icon image because I want to have both a black part and a white part like that because these are the extremes of the colour and you can see they may change things so if there's none you just have these two objects one over the other if the additive one adds to the other so you can see that the construct UI icon just adds to it if they copy it there doesn't seem to be any effect there it's just it it doesn't have any effect with the background it's just that even though this has transparency around the outside um, it deletes that with things on the same layer so these are both on the same layer and that's another thing to uh, mention they are both on the same layer um, now destination construct 2 icon doesn't seem to have any effect with destination over I can see if I can just simply uh, move the HTML thing above it and does that have any effect no it doesn't at all um, source over you can see that the source which is the HTML um, the HTML image is uh, the source coming in and you've got the construct UI icon there which just fills it just fills the image so the image here itself actually clips or masks um, this icon so let's just say for example how could we use that if I were to come here and if I were to create a sprite and let's say um, I just have a generic colour, maybe I make it orange again actually and I had some sort of weird fire effect as such I then had another sprite on the same level and I had like colours some crazy combinations like this and I selected this image here and I selected its blend mode to be I think it was source in maybe I have these the wrong way around um, oh no that's the reason why source in yeah I need to put it on top uh, I need to select both of these and move them to layer 1 there we go so move them back to layer 0 first just to explain these are two different images I've created them on layer 0 which is the bottom layer because its background is, is there's no sorry there is no transparency, you can see them um, as they are normally. Um, this one here, uh, which on the left on the Z ordering is actually they're actually on diff different layers, but this one here, this horizontal line one is below in the Z ordering of this flame image. And now if I move if we select both of these and I move them to layer one. Oh my goodness, which layer is he on? Here's on layer one too. There we go. Sorry, it's just taking time to get that. Ah, the ordering. Okay, so now now both on layer one, you can see that when the sprite two is above the flame in the ordering, that you could actually use this one as a mask or crop and have this as a constantly 
increasing animation and if you imagine that this sprite here for example had some sort of animation to it uh, and it changed and it kept them going back and forth while at the same time this was scrolling up you could get you can combine the two effects to create some sort of animation and that's what I'm trying to get out of this idea of blends okay so that's um, source in destination over is similar but uh, if I change the stripe image to destination was it over no it's destination in sorry to destination in and th you can see that wherever there is color and I put black and I put white wherever there is color whether black or white it actually goes through um, and it's used as a mask so that the colors from the image behind it come through but when that's flipped around uh, no there's nothing there at all um, yeah, that's something you need to bear in mind that the different ordering create different things source out now this uh, construct two icon here is above the other one and the source out so it's used as a mask let me see the one destination out the construct two icon simply masks it out um, similar to the top but the, the one which is good is destination at top which can be used again in creating animations I will produce a video hopefully creating a waterfall animation which I have uh, which shows how to do this probably a bit better I have actually created um, other tutorials uh, and I'll see if I can pick one out now uh, which one was yeah this isn't premium anymore you can actually get this for free on my site but just to show you um, how I've used this before so for example um, there are two images here a square which is the shape I need and then this this tiled background which I scroll if I press play and just run just this layout you'll see that the scrolling rainbow color is constantly moving to the left before being reset but it's only showing through the area the mask which I've set and that's true for all four of these and I've combined them together to create this image I've also done this with um, uh, a laser example where if I tap where I've used one image to create a mask which is moving and then I've used another image to create the color uh, which is moving as well so this is just showing you how to use blends really um, that you can combine them together and you can create some snazzy effects which you could use in your game lighting or just animations in general um, Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you've gained something from it, uh, or at least you've been made aware that there are effects. Oh, there's one more thing I'd like to add. If you click on a layer, you can actually set the mode, uh, the layer to um, set mode. To, actually, if I go back to layout two, click on layout two, go to layer, add layer two. So I've added another layer. Come down here to blends, and then I could do destination at top, for example and that means I would need one of these images on that layer for there to be anything oh no there we go it's normal and so now that whole layer has this blend mode destination on top this image I've just dragged onto it I've changed its blend, uh, blend mode so it's normal but it is on layer too and so the image is coming through this so you could use whole layers to mask out what you don't want to see and have perhaps if this was like a sniper scope if you're creating a game so if I just make it look like some sort of sniper scope um, uh, and let's see you had something in the middle like that and then can I rub this out and use the paste C of 100 and now it's going to paste C of 10 There you can see it's like a sniper scope that you can using. So I'd suggest playing around with these blend modes both for the layers and remember to um, force own textures. So play with, with I just hide that. Play around with the objects, applying a blend to the objects, and when those objects are on a layer, you need to force own textures. But if you're using blend modes with a layer you don't necessarily need to because I haven't forced own texture on layer 2 uh, so if I click on layer 2 as you can see here but if I do um, 
nothing seems to happen so it seems to only be the case when you're using blends with objects upon another object that you need to force own texture otherwise if it's for the whole layer uh, layer it seems to be assumed so play around with this and I hope you again learn something from this thank you very much for watching my videos